The Warner Brothers panel gave us a whole lot to digest concerning some upcoming major DCEU movies, including a trailer for Shazam, the upcoming film starring Zachary Levi directed by David F. Sandberg. The trailer depicted a bit of a backstory for Billy Batson, whose origin is different than it is in the comics. Instead, he's a kid who lives in a foster home with other children. But after a fight with some kids, he runs onto a subway train where the subway starts to glitch out. The train leads him to Shazam the Wizard, where the wizard gives him his powers, and Billy becomes the title hero. We then get a series of shots with Levi as Shazam, along with his pal from the foster home, testing out his superpowers in a very comical fashion. For the most part, the trailer felt really lighthearted, and made light of a lot of the aspects of Shazam's history that often felt cheesy or became the butt of jokes, including his origin story with the wizard. In the comics, Batson's origin plays out a little differently. He's an orphan who sells newspapers outside of a subway station, when one night a mysterious man in a trench coat approaches him and takes him down into the subway, which is where he meets the wizard Shazam, in a similar fashion to what we saw in the trailer. Minus the fact that in the comics it's all taken pretty seriously, and it's ever so slightly weird. Shazam is a character that has had a history of controversy over the years, particularly with his name, having previously been called Captain Marvel. When the character was initially created, he was owned by publisher Fawcett Comics, who was sued back in the Golden Age by National Comics, the predecessor to DC, for being too similar to Superman. Years later, after many a battle in court, Fawcett originally won the lawsuit, but eventually had major declining sales after World War II, causing them to shut down its comics division. This is when Marvel bought the copyright to the name Captain Marvel, and DC eventually bought the rights to all of the Fawcett Comics characters, eventually changing Captain Marvel's name to Shazam in order to avoid confusion with Marvel's Captain Marvel. So, what else happened at the panel? Well, Levi walked out on stage with a Guinness, and noted that playing Shazam was a dream come true for him. Sandberg talked about how he leaned into the fun of telling a good story, and that Levi's audition tape proved to him that he was perfect for playing an adult who had to play a kid. Sandberg teased that Isis might be making an appearance in the movie. Fans also asked about whether a Mary Marvel character would be included in the film, to which Sandberg responded Responded, maybe. All right, there we have it, guys. What are your predictions for the Shazam movie? After seeing the trailer, do you think that Zachary Levi was the perfect choice for the role? Let us know in those comments below. If you dug this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for all your San Diego Comic Con news, highlights, and updates. Thanks for watching.